dude. What, who are you talking about? Guys right from Coastal. You just talked. You just said that. Yeah, Coastal they just Carolina. won. Yeah, I said. Did I, you watch that game last I, night? No, I played with a couple guys from there. I saw. And <laughs> that's just what I'm telling you. I don't know if I can do this today. Depressed. Thanks, Jeremy Bryant. Jeremy Bryant. Seriously, what he ruined do? my whole day. What he do? He's just being typical Jeremy Bryant. Twelve-time Lone Star Conference broadcaster of the year. Thirteen. No. Yeah, he's he's pretty impressive. He's a big deal. But yeah, he was just like, hey, I can ruin Brooks's day. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna suck it up though and be ready to go. You have to. That's what you have to do. You got to do your job. Push through. You got to push through. You know, there's no reason to go on. <laughs> All thanks to Jerry Bryant. So like, uh, if I wake up tomorrow, Sean, I should have tweet. And should I send him a tweet? I'm dead, Graylin. You just know you go take out Jeremy Bryant. Timbo Slice's dad, too. Yeah, I know. Uh, do they now, know see, why yet? John said it was an intruder, but I just saw heart disease. And I watched his last fight, and he about had a heart attack. Like in the fifth round, they both about got knocked out from just falling down because they're tired. He probably took some steroids or something and it messed up his body. You think? History fights are weird. I don't I know. Bet. I bet. Probably. I All right. Rams fans, Welcome. To the uh, last spring slash summer edition, sitting here with a uh, couple of uh, seniors that uh, sad, sad or, or leaving, but man, put a undeniable mark on the program. To my left, Brasak. <laughs> to my right, Graylin Brown. <laughs> anyway, see, I'm so confused. On my left from right, Graylin. You'll be okay. Anyway, uh, just real quick, I, you know, y'all ain't got to say what, sum up your experience at Angelo State and just the joy of getting to be around Coach Brooks every day. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was a fun experience. You know, I've been here, well, I was here for five years, red-shirted, and then got to start playing the year after that. But it was a, it was a great experience going through First season, being a redshirt freshman, going through that regional, you know how that went. We're not going to talk about it. But then having a kind of off season, and then, you know, after that, going to the World Series twice. So I think it was a real joy. And you just, it's kind of like a lot of adversity. And also, being at practice for you every day is a adventurous thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to Bryce now. And hopefully he'll say nice things. I did too. Uh, yeah, I'd say I had a great four years here. Um, like Grant said, I mean, there was lots of ups and downs. Uh, really developed as a player, I believe. So a lot of positive, yeah, a lot of positive outcomes. Uh, and then being at practice was great. The best, actually, the, my favorite days were the ones when you made us just leave. When we just had to go. We didn't even get to finish practice. You just made us go. Yeah. Those, those are the ones I remember. Do you? That didn't happen at all this year or last year. Or last, or last year. year. Okay. That's the key. Hey, the Don't kick you out of practice and <laughs> yeah, we go to the World good. Series. All right. That's a good coaching point right there. Absolutely. All right. So what, uh, uh, what, do you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you got planned for the summer and future, Graylin Brown? Well, I'm not going to lie. I don't really – I have plans, but I don't know which one route I'm taking yet but right now just sit back relax enjoy the time get a you're distracting the viewers i'm good find a job you know and then be a millionaire one day there you go fat stacks fat the stacks. gray and brown dome stadium <laughs> you know that's the one thing uh actually discussing at lunch today we've got to find a way to replicate carry uh as far as dimensions humidity all that stuff, and I think it's going to have to be a climate-controlled facility. So with the stadium, so that put that on your list of to give back and, and create that for us. Pookie's dome. Pookie's dome. I like it. Bryce, your plans. You're still in grad school. Gray when you graduated, uh, so that's that's good. And you've already graduated once. Yeah, already graduated once. I'm gonna got a full semester this summer in grad school, and then I got 12 hours left. Next year, I'll, then I'll finish that up and just kind of sticking around, helping out with the youth baseball. I'm going to do some stuff with West Texas Elite and 
around here and do what I can. So that's really all I have planned right now. All right. Uh, well, it's about that time. Four words. Okay. Uh, again, this sort of, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm sure we'll be on location uh, this summer from points of the globe, you know, uh, bringing Ram Talk to the Ram Nation. Anyway, four words. Who wants to go first? You go first. Okay. Uh, JB, Dream Crusher. Dream Crusher. One word. Uh, fan and light. Go. Kevin Brooks is not JB's biggest fan right now after he was a Dream Crusher and his future light. Okay, it's really good to the light part. Fan. Yeah, the fan part, good, but light, that was really, I'm going to give you a D. Oh it didn't, it was not in context. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, you got a degree, D. Yeah, you know. All right, I'll give it a C. C. I'll go C. Okay. Uh, Bryce, let's go with radio, announcer, scumbag, Tall. Uh, that tall radio announcer, Jeremy Bryan, is a huge scumbag, and I can't believe he ruined your day. A plus plus plus. That's a lot of valedictorian stuff. All right, Ram fans. Uh, again, we'll, I'm sure we'll be back to see you here soon. A lot of recruiting, a lot of work to do to get back to the World Series and then go win it. All right, uh, have a great summer.